Hello, my name is Mark and this is Mark's Coding Projects. Today is another testing tutorial, let's get right into it. So for some reason, characters are being incorrectly converted. I can't, I honestly, I can't think of a reason, I cannot think of a reason why it's converting the numbers to like 50s and 49s and like where did this come from? You know? How did that happen? Is it is it the port number maybe? Don't think so. Let me get rid of that. Um Oh hang on, so presumably this is our so you print the board, you print out that, uh, you then go to data transfer a board to array, and you are printing this. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, to be honest. So char at x is just a zero, is it not? Well, a good strategy to, is going to be is printing out every single character that we are writing to our game board. So you're wrong that you're being messed up by the server. Zero, zero, one. Okay, so one. There. One. 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 What? Okay, first of all, that's wrong. Okay, okay, I know there's a way of doing this, don't worry. The way of doing this is that. Okay, so that solves one of our problems. So, so you notice it, it loops through, and what I think it's doing is you notice the ones are repeated. So it's almost as if there's a one on every single row. It's like, no, there isn't a one on every single row. What's happening is, because the string is one-dimensional, um, and we're looping in two dimensions, whenever it loops back round, um, on the y value, so the y increments by one, the x is reset to zero, we're going to print out character zero again. So we're going to be printing out values one through six repeatedly. So that's the first problem. Um, second problem, I don't know how to solve that yet. But first off, if we run this again, yeah, zero, 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 one, why? That doesn't make sense. Oh no, okay, it doesn't make sense. So, um, okay, so the problem is we can't do x times y because zero is involved and it'll mess up the first row. Um, so what if we do, do x times y plus x. So if, y is zero, it's going to ignore the first round of x's from, so yeah, our board to array doesn't work. Thick. We are going to do it with a counter. Okay, so the solution we've got is we've put a counter variable in and we're going to put a counter at the bottom. So this is going to increment every single time it loops round, but then when y is incremented and x is reset, the counter is going to remain the same, it's going to be incremented again. So this is going to be a running total of the entire time that we go through this this whole structure. So it's every single time we loop back round, it's going to be added on. It's not going to go through one through seven. It's going to be one through this times this, and then that should uh, remove the any duplicates in the. Uh... Okay, so I think we found some sort of solution ish. I then run this. We should see what happens. So everything is up and running. You all seem happy. Three. Annoying. But progress at the same time. Ish. No. Done this wrong. That needs to be counter. So I think that's now correct. Um, so that solves one problem. So data is moving. Uh, in a sense. And then something it looks like it's data transfer it's just messing it up yeah we'll try a print board i'm really hungry oh my god print board is that a method no okay well it can be it will be 
So we're going to move our print board method. No, sorry, we're not going to move. We're going to duplicate our print board method. Actually, hang on, we've got a C. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our C container objects. Uh, we're going to use print board, which is probably private. Do we not have one? Yeah, it's private. Okay, you can go public. Nice. Oh, you're public. Board, you're unhappy because of your parameters probably. So if I give you board, you should work. Cool, right, next test, let's go. Okay, so we now have a print board method, method executing in data transfer, which is useful. So we wanna see if data transfer is causing the issue. Cool, are you player? You're player one, nice. Uh, board string, cool. Okay, whatever. Ah. Okay, something big has just clicked. Where does it come from? Once by the time it gets to data transfer. So you'll notice that the bottom, the place where we slotted a counter in was set equal to 49 and everything else was set equal to 48. Okay, input's now working correctly. That's good. So we are sending the correct values to our board to array. Board to array is then receiving this. What does char app do? Is char app a problem? Oh, oh my God, of course. Oh my God, you idiot. Oh my God, you absolute, you, you moron. You absolute moron. It has literally just hit me why it's not working because I'm a dumbass. Oh dear God. So for those of you that have been screaming and shouting at me about what the problem is, it has just hit me like a ton of bricks. So, oh my God. I was setting a char equal to an integer. Understandably, that has caused some issues. I'm surprised though that it allowed me to do it. Um, Kind of annoyed as well. <sighs> Can I do that? That honestly, literally like that is the dumbest thing ever. So it was setting a char equal to an integer. Um, I don't know why I was allowed to do that. I don't know if like what the reasoning behind that is, but that's that's a problem. So, yeah, this is saying here's an integer and here is a char character. Make them equal to each other. And obviously, that's not going to work. So this, I believe, is the code that I need to put in. I'm going to try it. Might not work. We shall see. It just doesn't make sense. It's like, why would you allow chars to equal integers? Just like what? I can only think that it's like, is it like a byte value or, you know, I just cannot think of what it is. Oh, you're looking pretty. I'm stopping there because this stupid thing finally works. There we go. Watch it now break. <laughs> oh, deary me. Fantastic. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, like I haven't, then good for you. Uh... <laughs> The working source code will be available on GitHub and, you know, please do like, comment and subscribe. It does mean a lot. It helps me out with the algorithm and all of that business. Um, if you've got any questions or stuff, please do leave it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more exciting. <laughs>